In this video, we're going to be talking about the five secrets you need to know to making sure that your Amazon account does not get suspended. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Bashar Ketun. I'm the founder of BJK University, an education company with a mission to impact 1 million lives. I remember when I was first starting out as an Amazon seller seven years ago, one day I went into my Amazon seller's account and I saw this red, you know, alert on the left top of my screen. And it just simply said that, you know, my account might be getting suspended. And I remember freaking out, just literally like losing it. Didn't even know what's going on. Didn't know why, didn't know what's happening. And in this video, we're gonna make sure that you never see that alert because trust me, it's not something you wanna start your day with. So what I wanna do is, I wanna talk to Lorraine, who is one of our coaches, and and she you know she works with hundreds of our coach uh, with our students every single day and she's gonna walk us through the five things that you must know to making sure your Amazon account does not get suspended. If your Amazon account gets suspended, your Amazon business is done and it's literally nearly impossible for you to get reinstated. So Lorraine, why don't you go into what is the number one thing that they need to know and how to avoid it? Okay. What I'm going to start with is the ones that are not as serious. So we want to make sure that your first and main photo needs to be on a white background. This is the TOS policy of Amazon. Now I've had a couple of listings and one had color background and it seemed to be okay. But here's the catch. Amazon can catch up to you at the most critical time. And if my sales are going good, and I'm making, uh, I'm hitting over a thousand dollars a day and it, I, I'm, I'm raising flag. Wow, she's doing good. Let's go see what's going on. Boom, color photo, boom, suppressed. I'm like, <laughs> so yeah, and right at a critical time. I'm like, no. So I hurried up and I ran and I changed the image really fast. I notified Amazon. I apologize. I'm so sorry. I didn't lose too much time. It was up the same day, but this is not always the case. If they're super busy or um, if, if this is more than the first time that you've done this, they keep record of everything. They know everything that you're doing on your uh, account. This is really critical. Just do it right the first time. So make sure you have your photograph, your main photo on a white background. So number two is what, every time we want to sell a product, we want to check with Amazon for any reason. We want to make sure that this is not a gated product. Now, I know a wooden bowl basically is not a gated product, but I'm going to check anyways. What if they have something new that came out that I need to provide a certificate from my supplier that says the wood was treated properly? You know, it doesn't have termites or whatever, but they have uh, specific things that they want to know. It's like if, if you decide that you're just going to sell a product, well, it's a simple product. It'll be fine. And, and you go ahead and you do it and it has uh, it's electrical. Well, all electrical appliances or any kind of electrical anything. And that's a gated product because they have the reasons why they need to know. Is this a U.S. plug you're selling in the U.S. market? And so this will come with certificates from the supplier. And then you just submit it to Amazon. Here you go. And they're like, OK, this is good. You can go ahead and sell this product or there's uh there's nothing, you know, this is completely fine. You can go ahead and sell without certificates and you're good to go. But always, always check. It's the one time you don't check and that's the time you get nailed. And you don't want to do that because now you're going to waste a whole lot of time trying to go back and forth with your supplier, getting the certificate, emailing it to Amazon, having Amazon get back to you and say, well, we need this one too. And now you're going back and forth and back and forth. And the whole time your listing is still suppressed. All right. So the very first thing that we just talked about was making sure that you're not, you know, your photos are up to TOS, which is terms of service. And, and that's one of the most you know, important things and making sure that you're not having any, any different guarantees or any kinds of images or anything else on your main photo, except the product itself. And then the second thing is making sure that your product has, you know, all the, 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 the qualifications and all the certifications that it's need that is needed in case if something does happen with your Amazon listing. Now, if you're finding this content valuable so far, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we're dropping multiple videos every single week teaching you about Amazon and really other tactics that you can utilize in your business and in your life every single day. Now, Lorraine's going to go into number three, but personally, I think number five is probably going to be one of my personal favorites and, and the one that almost got my account deactivated. So we're gonna make sure that you listen up to that. So Lorraine, why don't you take us to number three? Number three, we wanna make sure that we can, you know, find ways of, of people leaving us some feedback and, and some reviews because it lifts and moves our listing up higher. The more reviews we are, the better it is for us. 
So we put little insert cards, but you can never use the phrase, leave a review. But you can ask them, how about sharing your experience with us? And, and you can put this on your insert card. But what you cannot do is put other web websites on there. Don't put your personal website. Don't send them over to um, either Instagram or eBay, <laughs> another website, Shopify, where you're selling it, thinking you're going to get over on Amazon. Because, well, if I can get them over here, I can sell them my product from my website without a fee, you know, or maybe it will link back and you have people go into all the different websites and things like this. Amazon does not like you sending people somewhere else. And if you think you're going to get over because it's stuck in your package and nobody can see it, well, guess what? Occasionally you will get a return. I mean, I don't know anybody who hasn't had at least one return. And when it does return to Amazon, they're going to check it to see if they can sell it for you. Is this sellable or do we need to have you have it shipped back to yourself or destroyed whatever you want to do with it? It's your decision. But they're going to open it and they're going to see it. And that's going to cause an automatic suppression. You know, that's not an innocent thing. You know, they're talking, you're talking about taking money away from Amazon. They take this very seriously. Number four. Now, this is very serious. And we have seen this happen to some of our students, but we corrected it right away. The best thing for you to do when you're on Amazon is get brand registered. Always get work your hardest to get brand registered. Get it trademarked, get it brand registered, and get your brand protected. If not, you're generic just like everybody else. Somebody can come along and hijack your listing. And then theirs shows up. But if their product is really bad and their people are buying it thinking it's yours and they get bad reviews, guess what? It goes onto your listing. And this is what they call hijacking a listing. But if you are brand registered, and you have a brand with a serial number, Amazon will give them the boot. And chances are they will lose the ability to uh, have a website on Amazon because this is very serious. You're playing around with somebody else's money. You're messing around with Amazon's website itself. You can't do that, you know? So never think that you can get over and say, well, this guy's selling really well. What if I hijack his listing for a little while? Well, he sees it and reports it to Amazon and guess who loses the ability to sell on Amazon again? Is it worth it for a few dollars? It definitely is not. Now, I know some of these things, you know, sound like common sense. And if you are not an Amazon seller, you might be thinking, well, absolutely, I would definitely do these. But you see, when you're building a new business, when you're growing, you're not really thinking of these things. You're focused on finding products, launching products, finding products, launching products. And some of those things might pass you by. And trust me when I say this, I've seen more people than 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 I can count that, you know, did not pay attention to those things and, and got their account suspended. And it takes a long time to get your account reactivated. And, and this is why these things are crucial. They are common sense and, and you can avoid them very easily by just implementing these few things that we're sharing in this video. But again, as I mentioned, number five for me is I think one of the most crucial, which we're going to share with you guys. But before we go into that, if you want someone that's going to guide you through the entire process, walk you through how Amazon you know, selling really works and, and make sure that you have the support, the accountability and everything that you need throughout the process. Click the link below this video to see how you can be part of BJK University and how our team of coaches, including Lorraine, can walk you through the entire process. The fifth one is infringement. This Amazon takes very seriously. Trust and believe you can lose your account very fast and not be able to sell on Amazon because what you're doing is you're creating a situation where Amazon can get sued. Everybody can sell coffee on Amazon. Anybody can sell coffee. Coffee is just a generic product. You will need certificates, of course, because it's FDA and it's food, but not a problem. But if you try to put things in your listing like Starbucks, Starbucks is a brand name. Starbucks is a big company. Even if you're trying to get creative, we're better than Starbucks. So you're going to try to use the word keyword Starbucks to get people to come to your coffee, but you've used their word, their keyword there. This is infringement. You're infringing on their product. No matter how you look at it, you cannot use what somebody has either patented or trademarked. You don't, you want to stay far away from this as possible. And we always can check that. We check on USPTO for either patent search or we check trademark before we do anything. Amazon doesn't take lightly that you're possibly causing a lawsuit to them. Now, people are always trying to sue Amazon all the time, but if you're the cause of it, then you definitely don't belong here. So they're gonna take it extremely serious. So when you see some of these red things, um, uh, talk to, if you're here with us, talk to us, show us what you have and 
we'll help you get through it. But if it's one of these more serious things, now you're talking legal. You're going to need some legal action to be to help you get out of this one. So to avoid them, just don't do them. Don't put yourself in a situation where it's going to cost you more money than it's worth. So as you saw, some of these things are pretty serious and, and, and you know, real serious harm can happen from them. And this is why having professional help throughout, you know, the process of starting a new business, especially that you've never done a business before is really crucial. And, and you know, some of them can really save you days, weeks, months and, and some years and not you know not to consider all the, the the hassle and all the money that is involved which is why bjk university exists so if you want us to walk you through how this entire thing works and how you can be part of it click the link below this video to learn how you can be part of bjku and how our coaches can help you but outside of that hope you guys found this video valuable we'll see you in the next video have a good day